Welcome to an Age of Empires 4 match. This is the grand finals for EGCTB 2023 $25,000 prize pool for the winners in this match. But na game number seven in the best of nine. Gonna be Vortex with the Malians on the east side of the map. It's gonna be Beastie with the Delhi Sultanate. A civilization that he lost the last match. What a close game. Uh, like, if you see past tournaments, you could clearly see that the winner is gonna be very obvious, right? There was huge difference between the players. And now in this tournament, EGCTV is delivering like the best possible matches. Like, these players have a step at their game. You don't know who's gonna win. The excitement is there for every single match in this series. If you want to support EGCTV, there is a Patreon. If you want to become part of the history of the greatest esports in the game, uh, the Age of Empires 4, make sure to check out their Patreon. And if you are enjoying this video, of course, hit the like and subscribe to watch more Age of Empires 4 content. Have plenty of videos coming up every single day. Every single day a new match goes up from high competitive players. Let's talk about the spawns. Malians have the gold in the front. That's not a good that's not a good position for the Malians. It's gonna be very easy for Beastie to take down this gold pit mine. It's very far from the from the town center. Rush Beastie. Gold in the back is pretty safe. Although the Malians won't really go into harassing your opponent that much just because they're they, they have other things going on they're gonna go for that cow boom gonna get a nice eco you're gonna get that nice passive gold then they're gonna go for you so your objective as the daily sultanate is to stop that and how is it gonna work well you're gonna control the secret sites you're gonna pump units and you're gonna go for it. Question is, is it gonna be on enough time? Can he delay the castellation of the Malians? Like before the Malians get all their ego. That's that's the question here. Now let's see how Beastie plays up. It's gonna be the Tower of Victory. Like, not surprised, actually. And the Mansa Quarry. Now the Mansa Quarry allows you to have passive gold per minute. Whereas the La Tower of Victory, it will buff every single infantry unit that is created around its influence. So that they will get extra attack speed. For the rest of the game. Forever and ever. So it's it's a go to landmark, not surprised. awkward silence where it's like two people just I'm watching just be like just gathering resources without anything going on in the game and there you go new age begins for Vortex now let's see what he's gonna do but most likely he's he's gonna go for that cow boom BC already reached the feudal age now, last match, uh, I don't want to spoil, but uh, Vortex was using the daily, so now it's Beastie's time to use the daily. Let's see uh, how, how it goes. Let's see how it goes for him. Uh, it's gonna be Gassy Raiders. Already a scholar here to send that first Gassy Raider as soon as possible. Vortex don't have uh, warrior scout, so just gonna scout. This is a 
non-trained scout. Cassie Raider gonna find the scout. If he manages to take it down, which I don't think so because this, I think the scouts are faster. Never mind, these guys are fast. 1.88 tiles per second. The Malian's gonna do the Malian stuff. Oh, he sees the Cassie Raiders, he goes for those stones. Us. This is pretty much a rock, paper, scissor game. The tons of speed, the, the cavalry, the the cavalry meets the archers, the the archers beat the spearman. And the, so Vortex does the right thing. He gets the spearman out and he will just try to defend with it. The problem is there is already five Cassie Raiders going on for PC. And he's putting those scholars inside, meaning he will have a huge number of units coming into Vortex base, forcing him to create more units and delay his castle age timing. Now, uh, we have seen Vortex playing before with the Farimba, which is a landmark that can create units in exchange of gold, and we have seen succeed with that before. Although, I'm not exactly sure why, why is the reason why he chose it and not, not in this matchup. Probably because the daily can pump units very fast and he won't have such of an, you know, of an, ad, of an advantage here. Now BC doing a really nice job taking down those houses. It's because remember, they get extra gold for each house that is around here. Look at this house, beautiful design. Now more archers are joining here. Meanwhile, Vortex is gonna go for the javelin throwers. It's a very slow unit but managed to get a nice, uh, nice damage. Cassie Raider goes down. You can see beasties. Pumping those units. Scholars are already there. To get those sacred sites. Vortex is gonna be annoying with the with the scout here. He's gonna lose it if, if he doesn't move indeed. He moves it. And more Gassy Raiders delaying the age up of Vortex. The more houses you destroy, the more time he needs to go castle. Two secret types. One secret type being captured, one is almost being captured. S such an annoying timing. Like. Hello there. And he's like, oh my god, I can't believe this. He only needs to send one archer and he can deal with this. It looks like he's gonna send the Gassi Raider. Well, Sacred Sight gonna be captured in the north. It looks like he's gonna send a couple of units to deal with this. But the the tons is still there, and it now it, it's a point where the scholar can go down. Beastie keep pushing here. Military numbers looking good for Beastie. Circuit site gonna be captured. Donso trying to decapture the sacred site. Also goes down. Finally, I know Vortex is gonna put his reinforcements in the pit mine of the north. Gotta be careful here. This this gold mine is a little bit exposed. Now 
now busy with a decent military mass. It's like he will try to cause some damage now that he has all the three sacred sites. Vortex is doing a really nice job decapturing those sacred sites. It's gonna be so annoying, so I need at least one unit to deal with it. Now let's check on Vortex site. We already have one, two, three, four, five, six feather ranch. Should be pretty good to go castle now. Very decent foot income. Oh the gas here raiders. Just gonna gather here continue trying to delay as much as possible the ASAP of the Malians but looks like it's gonna happen at any time it's already stop producing units he feels he can protect with this BC may try to prolong this into a longer game just because he want to get advantage of those uh, of, of those villagers being created inside the castles for the daily. Look at that. Now Vortex not creating more units. He will just try to defend with what he has. Now that's not all military mass for Beastie. More units are coming. It looks like the archers are gonna get inside that looks like beastie will go back doesn't want to lose his army it's very tempting to go and have a villager or two already two villager kills in this match managed to get a gold mine down pit mine take up gonna be captured again Oh, there is a lot of scholars. He spent a lot of gold on these scholars, actually. Why he hasn't aged up already? Wants to put those guys here. Get those get those research going there. Now, when it comes to aging up, the Malians are a pretty scary army. Gonna be the Grand Fulani Corral. Every cattle, one, two, three, four, five, six of them will provide more food per minute. I mean, 120 foot extra. Now, this beast is going for it. He senses that he's aging up. Does he know about it? He doesn't know about the Asia, but he should be pretty like. Should be very confident with his military numbers. And now, this is a terrible time to age up it's a terrible timing gassy raiders trying to do as much as damage as possible vortex losing his military mass only 17 military units so far beastie looks like he's gonna go for it and he's gonna get those villagers and vortex taps out and game number four goes for beastie in this best of nine series in the grand finals of egc tv what a game we had now Take a look at the military. It was too big, too big for him. And as soon as he ages up, it's just not enough room to breathe.